Tonight, the National Weather Service is saying a tornado did touch down on the border of Fayette and Westmoreland counties yesterday. An EF1 tornado with wind speeds about 100 miles an hour. No one was killed. There is a lot of damage, though. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Megan Schiller. Ross Gadotti joins us live. He has been out there all day long as people try to clean up. Ross? Yeah, lucky. That is the word you're hearing a lot of people talk about around these parts. Because like a lot of tornadoes, it seemed to want to choose what building it wanted to, to destroy, but it managed to spare lives and a lot of other property. It was just afternoon when the National Weather Service cleared up any speculation as to just what slammed into Salt Lake Township, Fayette County. We've been to a certain portions of Fayette County and we've just been looking at damage, mostly tree. This is our first structural damage that's mostly significant. Um, what we've been looking at for ratings is certain like types of structures they are and how well bolted they are to the foundation. And right now we're saying this is like an EF1 tornado about oh, around 100 mile per hour winds. Some of which wrecked havoc on Kerry Brown's property. A uh, corner of the roof took off and I saw the uh, barn roof just peel off. Up the street, this barn suffered significant damage when a piece of farm apparatus apparently was picked up and slammed into it. <laughs> Trees that stood beautifully for decades this morning relegated to future firewood or mulch. Buildings being destroyed are certainly heavily damaged by winds, nothing unusual. But when you head out in the farm country and something like this hits, you see these kinds of things. This is a farm wagon. It weighs thousands and thousands of pounds. It was picked up and blown to this location not far away. Like this old fireplace, my grandpa and uncle had built that probably 70, 75 years ago. So destroyed laid waste by his shed as it rolled along the ground, slamming into this tree beside his neighbor's home. And as for cleaning up... It's going to be a while, I think. But I, the insurance adjuster was out this morning, and he assured me it would go pretty quick. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. Now, new at 6, we're going to take a look at where the National Weather Service thinks this tornado may have originated in. And before we leave, I want to tell you something about the farm behind me. Last year, they got hit by devastating winds, and it knocked down trees that did damage to their house. Not a tornado, just heavy straight line winds. This year, the tornado literally came through their property, knocking down trees, sparing their home. The farm was originated about 40 years ago by the couple living here, and guess what they named it? Windy Hill. Seems pretty appropriate. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.